Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie Channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 8 which is all about Law of Triads. This will be the second quarter topic, week 5 and day 1. And this lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to explain the concept of the Periner's Law of Triads and how it relates to the periodic arrangement of elements. The second one is to work collaboratively in small groups to identify the Doberiner's Triads and calculate the average atomic mass of the elements. And the third one is appreciation for the historical significance of the Beriner's contribution to the understanding of the periodic table by answering the guide questions. In activating the prior knowledge for the short review, the students will accomplish activity number one, which is all about pure substances showdown. For the first instruction is that the teacher will divide the class into two teams, the elements, and the compound. The second one is to set a timer for two minutes or adjust based on the class size. And the third one is to challenge each team to write down as many examples of your substances as they can following the two categories. And the fourth one, after the time is up, each team takes turn sharing their list. And the fifth one is that if a team has the same answer, they will cancel, they will cancel the example. And the sixth one is if the team lists an incorrect substance, for example, the air, mixtures, and the other team can challenge it. For the lesson purpose, to introduce the concept of triads in chemistry and understand how elements with similar properties are grouped, let us explore the relationship between the atomic mass and properties within triads. And the importance of this lesson is although the law of triads has limitation, it paved the way for more comprehensive periodic laws. For unlocking of content area vocabulary, present these new terms to students and explain their definition. For the first word is the word triad. It is a group of three elements with similar properties. Another term is the word octave. It is recurring pattern where every eight elements has similar properties. And another terms to present to the students is the word period. It is regularly repeating patterns of properties of elements. For the explicitation, the teacher will share examples of their favorite trios or famous trios. Afterwards, the students will answer the following questions. For the first question, what is the trio called? And for the second question, why do you think the trio was formed? And for the third question, which of these groups comes first in history? Now let's talk about what are the Beriner's triads. So it is a group of three, so elements with remarkably similar physical and chemical properties like three different colored brick that are identical in size and shape. And when it comes to matic Mathematical pattern, the middle element's atomic mass equals roughly the average of the other two elements in the group. And when it comes to early classification, the first systematic attempt to find hidden order among the chemical elements, it was discovered between 1817 to 1829. The following are the example of triad, which is the alkali metals. We have the lithium, sodium, and potassium. All three metals react explosively with water and for similar compounds with halogens. Another example of triad is the alkaline earth metals. These are the calcium, strontium, and barium. These metals share identical chemical reactivity patterns and form comparability compounds with identical crystal structures. 
the following are other notable triads. So we have the halogens such as chlorine, bromine, iodine, and all form similar salts and acids. And we have calcogens, sulfur, selenium, tellurium, and similar bonding patterns. And we have the transition metals, the iron, cobalt, nickel, magnetic properties, and metallic behavior. The following are the physical and chemical property similarities. So first one is reactivity pattern. So triad elements react with the same substances to form analogous compound with identical formulas. The second one is the physical property. So comparable densities, melting point, and atomic weights follow predictable gradual changes. And the third one is intermediate behavior. So the middle elements properties consistently fall between the other two members. The following are the historical context and discovery. In 1817, the first triad identified the calcium, strontium, and barium. In 1829, expanded research to five complete triads. And the third one is the legacy. It influenced new lands, octaves, and Mendeleev's periodic table. The following are the limitation of the Berener's triads. When it comes to the limited scope, only five triads identify, leaving most known elements unclassified and without clear relationships. The second one is the imperfect mathematics. So atomic mass average did not always match perfectly due to the measurement limitation of the era. And the third one is incomplete coverage. So failed to explain relationship in larger elements groups like manganese through zinc transition metals. For the work example, present examples of three elements with similar properties. So we have calcium, which is atomic mass of 40.1, strontium, atomic mass 87.6, barium, atomic mass 137.3. So according to the law of triads, the middle elements, which is the strontium, in this case, should have an atomic mass that roughly the average of the first and the third element, which is the calcium and the barium. Then calculate the average atomic mass of the calcium and barium. So the average is equal to the calcium's mass plus the barium's mass divided by 2. So the average is equal to 40.1 atomic mass plus 137.3 atomic mass divided by 2. So the average is 88.7. The average of the mass of the calcium and barium corresponds to the 88.7, which is almost equal to the atomic mass of the strontium. This is what the law of triads predicts. For the lesson activity, the students will accomplish activity 1, and then the teacher will ask the class to form groups of 3. Then, as the group starts, uh, they are going to identify which among the set of elements given follow the law of triads. Afterwards, the students will answer the question for enrichment. So, for the first question, what are elements' actual names? Second one, what are the symbols for the given element names? And for the third one, do all the sets of elements above follow the law of triads? And for the fourth one, why do you think some elements do not follow the law of triads? And for the fifth one, can laws be outdated?